Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can make a text title grow in size over time so that it gets much bigger on the screen. Of course, doing the reverse to make it shrink would also work. So to get started, I've dropped on a text plus element onto our video 2 timeline, and the only thing I've changed to it so far is to take the text and renamed it from title to growing. So if we play our video, it just sits there like this, not very interesting, doesn't really do much. Now, given that a basic text plus element is a fusion tab 3D composition, it's possible to add extra elements to it, such as a shape that goes across your screen. So for that reason, if you want to scale solely this text that shows on screen right here, then you're going to want to change the size on the fusion tab, not the video tab. If you change the zoom on the video tab, it will basically work the same. But changing the zoom would affect every element inside of your composition. So unless you are trying to change a title that has multiple things going on, such as one of the other fusion titles you may find out of the box, then you should change it in the fusion tab under text. So that's going to mean the size here. So if we want to adjust the size over time, we're going to need to create keyframes. So what you should do first is go to the point in time where you want the title to have fully grown. So generally that'll be a couple seconds after the start of your title. If it's not long enough, you can always expand your title out. Um, but find that point in the timeline where you want it to be fully sized and then change the size. So this is out of 1.0 here. It's defaulted to 0.08. I'm going to bump it up to something like 0.35. And just to make it very large so it's obvious that the effect is working. Now once you've changed the size, you need to hit the gray diamond to the right of that. And that's going to set a keyframe point. So that's just a point DaVinci Resolve uses in order to create the animation. So this will be our end point and we need to set a starting point. And once those two are created, DaVinci Resolve will figure out everything else in between, like what size it should be at what point in time. So let's go to the first point in our video. And generally, I would assume you want it to start off invisible. So you should make this really close to zero or just zero directly. And then that'll mean that at the start of the video, it's completely invisible. It has no size on the screen. But over time, it's going to increase to that 0.35, which is quite large. So if we go ahead and hit space in the timeline here, we're going to get that effect where it grows over time. Now, that might not be fast enough for you. So if you decide that that is too slow, what you can do is find and remove this keyframe, which will have a red diamond over here. And then move the timeline cursor over to an earlier point and then put that size back in and this will automatically create the keyframe because we still have the one on the leftmost side. So basically what we did is just moved the keyframe earlier on in the timeline so it will be increasing to the same size but over less frames. And that'll give us a faster animation like this. Now one other thing we could do on top of this to make it a bit more interesting is to have the size increase but coming from a certain direction. So our text could be coming from the top of the screen, the left of the screen, one of the corners or wherever. So we can achieve that effect by going over here to the layout tab. Now note that this is still nested under fusion at the top of the inspector. So in the layout tab, we can see that it is adjusting for point here, which is what we want. So in order to have it animate from a certain direction, we need to change where the center X and center Y point is, but animate that over time. So at the start of the video, if we want the X center to be over on the left, then we want to decrease this over towards zero. Or if we want it to be on the far right, then we increase it over towards one or beyond that, and so on and so forth. So, so I'm going to set a keyframe at the frame where it should be fully grown by clicking over here on the gray diamond again. And now we can go back to the start here, and we can basically tell it what direction we want it to start at. So if we want it to be on the left-hand side, we could do something like negative 0.25, and that'll make it be off-screen, I believe. So it will initially be invisible not only in terms of size, but also in terms of the fact that it's off the screen. So now if I hit space here to play it, it's going to basically grow out of the left-hand side of the screen into the center. And as we go between the frames, you can see how that center X animates over time till we get to that keyframe at 0.5. And that's how we make it grow from the left-hand side of the screen. So likewise, uh, we can go back to the first keyframe and change the center X back to 0.5 so it's properly centered horizontally. But we could make it uh, come from the top of the screen by doing something like 1.25. 
1.0 being at the top of the screen and then the extra 2.5 putting it 25% above the top of the screen. So let's play that and it should come down from the top of the screen. And we can combine that. So we could make it come from the top left by setting the first keyframe on the left to negative 0.25 and then 1.25 for the Y. And that should have it come from the top left hand corner. Kind of like that. Okay, and that's pretty much how you can make text grow over a short period of time, either from the center and just simply expanding or from one of the directions on the screen. Note that you can pretty much do the same thing with images as well by simply dropping an image into your video timeline and doing the same size keyframing techniques. So I hope this helped some of you guys out there. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.